As we celebrate the 4th of July, America's independence from a foreign tyrant, it is especially important to remember why the original settlers risked life and limb to cross this great ocean to be free. Since that time, America has been the beacon of freedom and tolerance leading the way. So why is our current president, Donald Trump, so unwelcoming to all others who are seeking that very same refuge? And why does Donald Trump choose to reject all the values that have really made America great? And why does he choose to divide us in every possible way? It seems clear to everyone except uh, Donald Trump and his loyal disciples that Vladimir Putin is intent on undermining our democracy and other Western democracies as well. Trump has not punished Russia for interfering in our US presidential election because he was, in fact, the beneficiary of those efforts. And he has not taken any steps to secure the election process for the upcoming midterms. Despite the Senate Intelligence Committee reconfirming that Russia interfered with the US presidential election to, to secure a victory for Donald Trump. So just what will it take the GOP-run Congress to do their constitutional duties? Seems the Republican response to all of this is to visit Russia on Independence Day. What an image to send the world and for them to see on our, our most symbolic American holiday. Could it be that the Republicans uh, are all seeking a little uh, additional help from Russia? The midterms are less than four months away and uh, things are not, not going very well at all for the GOP. And all of this in advance of the, the Trump-Putin off-the-record bromance summit on July 16th. Just what's going on here in plain sight? Former Soviet KGB Lieutenant Colonel Vladimir Putin may have finally won the Cold War without firing a single shot. Wake up, America. Only our liberty is at stake. This is John Christopher Buer for Real Political News, somewhere on the Atlantic.